What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katia. Today, I've got a grammar lesson for you. We're going to hack one super tricky grammar point. As you know, in English, some verbs have to be followed by to, others by ing, but sometimes we have to use ing after to. To plus ing. How can we know when? In today's lesson, we're going to break it down. Are you ready? If so, let's get going. First of all, I want to share with you a trick that will help you know if to and ing go together. So the trick is, if you can place a noun after to, it means that you have to use the ing form after to. And now we're going to look at some examples. The first one, I'm looking forward to going to Javier. If you want, you could replace going with a noun. For example, I'm looking forward to my vacation or my trip to Javier or simply to it. So if you can place a noun after to, you have to use the ing form. The second example, when it comes to learning languages, watching original version movies does wonders. In this case, we can also place a noun after to when it comes to languages. And one more example here, stress can lead to overeating. In this case, we can also place a noun after to. For example, stress can lead to health problems. And now we're going to look at some verbs that follow this pattern. To plus ing. First, we're going to look at some phrasal verbs. When to is a preposition, it must be always followed by the ing form. So the first phrasal verb on my list today is to look forward to. For example, I'm looking forward to traveling to Havia, Ireland and Paris next summer. Number two, to get around to or to get around to. It means to do something that you have intended to do for a long time. One simple sentence, I need to get around to cleaning my windows. It's difficult to see through them. True story. Number three, to own up to. It means to admit that you've done something wrong. For example, he owned up to committing treason. Treason is the crime of helping your country's enemies. For example, during a war. And one more phrase of verb, to turn to. It means to seek help from. For example, she turned to fasting in order to improve her health. And now we're going to look at a list of verbs that also need the ing form after to. Number one, to confess. For example, he confessed to lying in the job interview. Number two, to admit. For example, she admitted to overlooking an important issue. Number three, to object. It means to disapprove something or disagree with something. For example, I object to working overtime for free. We can also make it negative and say to have no objection. For example, I have no objection to bringing the meeting forward. Number four, to adjust. For example, I found it easy to adjust to living on my own. Number five, to return. For example, it took him half a year to return to running after an injury. Number six, to resort. It means to do something that you don't want to do because you can find another way of achieving something. For example, she resorted to cheating in the exam. And guys, before we continue, just a super quick reminder. If you like English bits and find them interesting and valuable, and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please make sure that you do so. Thank you very much. And now let's move on to the third group. We're going to look at some verbs that are used as adjectives. Number one, to be committed. For example, I'm committed to creating interesting content for my students. Number two, to be devoted. For example, Vladimir Zelensky is devoted to serve in Ukraine. Number three, to be dedicated. For example, I'm dedicated to support in Ukraine. Number four, to be opposed. For example, I'm opposed to turning down their invitation. 
Sorry for the noise. Today is the day once again, and my neighbors are refurbishing their apartment and making a lot of noise. Sorry. Number five, to be prone. For example, she's prone to having migraines. Number seven, to be addicted. For example, he's addicted to playing video games. Number eight, to be used to. This is a very common mistake. You have to use ing after to be used to. For example, I'm used to swimming twice a week. Number nine, to get used to. For example, I'm getting used to fasting for 16 hours. Number 10, to be accustomed. For example, I'm accustomed to fending for myself. And one more, to get accustomed. For example, I'm getting accustomed to drinking plenty of water. So, as I said before, in the first group, when to is a preposition, it's followed by ing. For example, I prefer swimming to running. And one more example here, he got sick due to overworking. And last but not least, our group number five, we're going to look at some nouns that are also followed by to plus ing. Number one, dedication. For example, I admire her dedication to doing good. Number two, devotion. For example, I'm impressed by her devotion to living a fearless life. Number three, commitment. For example, I'm going to stick to my commitment to being faithful to my values. Number four, opposition. For example, there is a lot of opposition to passing the law. Number five, objection. For example, I don't understand your objection to banning traffic downtown. Number six, addiction. For example, he's overcome his addiction to smoking. And last but not least, reaction. For example, her reaction to seeing her mom at the airport is priceless. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you for watching this lesson up to the very end. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. And if you can think of more examples, more verbs that are followed by two plus ing, please let me know in the comments down below. And of course, if you enjoyed today's lesson and learned something new, please don't forget to like it, to subscribe to English Bits, and remember that you can catch me on Instagram where I teach English every day. Thank you for joining me today. Have a lovely Sunday and see you next Wednesday with the shorts and next Sunday with a long lesson. Thank you for your time. See you. Ciao for now.